Victor, lovely to have you with us. Thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to be here at ECMID TV with us. Um, you presented a keynote yesterday, yep. all to do with superbugs and kind of the road ahead. Um, and it was your first keynote, I understand, at ECMID. How was it, sir? How was the experience? Oh, tremendous experience. That's one of the largest conference halls that I ever spoke in. Saw the audience all the way to the back. Wow. And I think there was a lot of engagement and yeah. uh, engaged on Twitter afterwards and in conversations. I think there's going to be a lot of follow up. Really was the positive. Adrenaline experience. pumping as you were. Adrenaline presenting was pumping that. a little bit. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. Awesome. Now, the essence of your presentation, can you share that so, with us? Um, what we're interested in, as you know, the antibiotic resistance crisis is exploding. And um, for many of the common pathogens, there's no reliable treatment uh, to ensure that your patient is going to get better. Yeah. So what we study in our lab is the way that the bacteria interact with the immune system. And actually, your immune system is producing a lot of natural antibiotics to help fight infection. So what we're interested in is in learning how the existing antibiotics, and in fact drugs from other parts of medicine, like medicines that are used for cholesterol lowering or uh, treating your platelet clotting, they actually have activities that work together with antibiotics wow. yeah. to help clear these superbugs. And the audience response to your presentation, as you yeah, say, a lot of engagement very on some of social it was a media little, as well. Some of it was a little bit, I think, uh, maybe counterintuitive or new, uh, asking them to think about things in a different way. Because right now, with antibiotics, we test them in uh, a test tube, like mm -hmm. grow the bacteria on agar, basically seaweed, and test all the different chemical antibiotics. But we're interested in how antibiotics work in your body and how they work together with the immune system. So then you have to test them together with components of the immune system. Okay. And sometimes when you do that, you find that antibiotics that don't look very good in the standard tests actually perform really well because they partner with the immune system. And certain antibiotics that people are neglecting that don't think will work based on the current thinking actually have great activities and maybe there are some existing antibiotics that work for some of these superbugs thought to be resistant to everything. Wow, that's a fascinating field, so no wonder it was so well received. Yeah. Um, as we wrap up, sir, in terms of your ECMID, I know you've been here before to an ECMID event. Um, how does it feel to be amongst all of this, not only yeah. as a presenter, but as a medical I mean, professional? It's an amazing, uh, diverse community from all over the world. There's a lot of uh, people from my country here as well, and I think uh, that we learned that the creative ideas uh, are coming from multiple perspectives. Each country is dealing with slight differences in the way people practice medicine, the bugs that they're um, yeah. uh, encountering, and uh, that kind of interdisciplinary approach is exactly what we're looking for and to move peer -to -peer forward. Peer-to-peer collaboration is peer -to -peer fantastic. Peer-to-peer collaboration, fantastic. I chaired another session this morning on novel immunotherapies for infectious disease, four different speakers uh, from all over, and that was also uh, spectacular. I learned a lot. I think the audience did, too. Fantastic. Well, we've learned a lot from you being with okay. us, and thank you for thank joining you us much. on ECMA TV. All right. A real well, pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank Michael. you, sir. Bye-bye.